The 21-day-old Israelis' onslaught on Gaza have claimed more than a thousand lives and about 5,000 injured, many of them in critical condition. The compiled figures show 315 children and about 100 women among the dead. Reaction in the United States to the Israeli assault against Gaza have been deeply divided with a growing percentage of Americans disapproving Israel's actions compared to any other time, either astonishingly justifying the Israeli's invasion as a way to defend itself or denouncing it as a brutal criminal act. Basically, I just don't like the violence and I just, uh, you know, don't like the fact that um, the, the civilians are being you know, caught in the middle of this dispute. And to be honest, I mean, I don't really want to, I don't want to talk about it. The same, it. the same. I just, I hate the violence. I hate that, that civilians and children and women are, are being killed over a little, a piece of land. I think it's horrific and Israel's looking terrible. It makes the United States look terrible because we give Israel $4 billion a year. And this is one taxpayer who personally is sick of paying for it. Uh, I live in Washington, D.C. I know AIPAC is one of the most powerful lobbies. I think that Israel has a right to defend itself. I hope that Hamas is taken out and replaced with Fatah uh, and that the ceasefire can hopefully work out that both sides can agree to. It's very unfortunate that the two sides can't get together. Uh, there's obvious injustice to the Palestinians and there are also problems with attacks on Israel. So the obvious place for diplomacy to come to play. It's pretty terrible, the humanitarian crisis going on in Gaza and the fact that Obama hasn't said a single thing about it yet. So I believe that there's a lot more people here, especially in the D.C. community and nationwide, that are starting to get more involved in it. A recent survey on American public opinion strongly bolsters the disconnect between the American public opinion on the Israelis' offensive against Gaza and the views expressed by American political leadership. The poll shows that Americans are closely divided over whether the Israeli state should be taking a military action against Gaza, 44 to 41 percent, with 15 percent undecided. Democratic voters overwhelmingly oppose the Israeli offensive, 31 to 55 percent, with 24 points margin. By contrast, Republicans by large support the Israeli bombing campaign, 62 to 27 percent. Whatever the polls and the opinions are, the Israeli war machine against Gaza has entered its third consecutive week with no end in sight, deepening the suffering of people already facing a humanitarian crisis so grave that all international relief agencies are describing as a human catastrophe. Nadira Siasi Kaili, Press TV, Washington. Thank <laughs> you.